Hello, this is Dane Wigginton with GeoengineeringWatch.org. This is the Geoengineering Watch weather update for February 19th, 2014. Weather chaos continues to unfold around the globe and the ongoing climate engineering programs are fueling the fire. All over the Northern Hemisphere, engineered snowstorms are wreaking havoc. Many locations that are not being buried under the chemical snow mix are experiencing record heat and record drought, though the mainstream media seems to have been ordered to focus primarily on the parade of engineered snowstorms instead of the baked and burning zones. People need to look beyond the local headlines in order to form an accurate opinion of what's truly going on in the world. Yes, there have been some record cold temperatures and record snows in certain areas. This is the goal of the climate engineers, to create a, quote, brutal winter headline for the highly populated areas of the country. They're hammering with a train of engineered snowstorms while the planet continues into total meltdown overall. More on that in a minute. Again, in the eastern U.S., as has been the case for so long already, the parade of jet stream manipulated chemically ice nucleated snowstorms continues into this week. Though a warm-up will set in over the east for at least a few days as the climate engineers try to give the parched west coast a toxic canopy of aerosolized cloud cover and a splash of rain here and there. As we push toward the latter part of the month, the weather makers will again build the heat producing dome of high pressure over the west, as they have done so consistently this winter. They'll push the jet stream north, up and over this dome of high pressure, which keeps the moisture out of the west coast, most specifically California. The jet stream is spun clockwise around the high pressure zone and then pumped down into the eastern U.S. in order to keep things cool for some in those regions. Where else are the chemical cooldowns occurring? China is pounding their populations with engineered storms. Japan is also being buried in the ever more manipulated weather. All the chemically nucleated storms are causing incredible damage. Ice storms are also now the norm. There are large transition zones between the flows of warmer moisture being used for the nucleated snowstorms and the epicenters of the engineered events. In these transition zones, the nucleation elements and chemicals are hitting the ground before setting up and freezing into chemically nucleated ice, thus the constant ice storms now being experienced. So what else is coming down from our skies? According to a recent Popular Science article, researchers are finding some types of microbes that should not be floating around the clouds. Though there are certain species of naturally occurring atmospheric microbes that are still being studied, the Popular Science article makes mention of even E. coli bacteria that they write off to being just picked up by the weather conditions and pulled to the troposphere from cities below. Does that really sound plausible, E. coli floating around our clouds? Or is it much more likely that, in addition to the massive climate engineering programs going on over our heads 24-7, there are also biological experiments going on, and all of us are the test rats. Certainly the role of popular science has been and is to explain away whatever the power structure wants to hide from the public. What about the climate overall? Is Earth really descending into an ice age, as some would have us believe? If hard facts matter, then global cooling propaganda could not be a bigger lie. Earth just passed the 37th consecutive year of above average temperatures. Earth just passed the 346th consecutive month of above average temperatures. If you don't believe me, investigate it for yourself. The bad news is that the heating we have seen so far is just the beginning. Remember last September when so many headlines trumpeted the quote recovery of Arctic ice? This was also a total lie. Yes, the climate engineers threw everything they had at refreezing the Arctic. Jet stream manipulation, constant atmospheric spraying to blot out the sun. There also appears to have been extensive spraying of the same artificial chemical ice nucleation material that so many have taken notice of in the States. So why are the Arctic ice expanding headlines false? Because the ice volume never expanded. The headlines of an expanding Arctic ice cap were based on the surface area or extent and did not cite the volume, which as of last September was only 19% of the 30 year average. How was the ice as of today? The Arctic ice as of February 18, 2014 is at all time record low levels. Methane is spewing from the Arctic at record levels in what appears to be the progression of a runaway greenhouse effect. This event unfolding in the Arctic is already affecting us all. Why don't we hear about that on any headlines? Because the current goal of climate engineers and their media lapdogs is to hide the planetary meltdown from the public as long as possible with completely engineered snowstorms and temporary cooldowns. While they're at it, sickening the general population with the toxic fallout and likely ongoing biological experimentation is all added benefit for the power structure. Those that want to make a difference 
in this equation need to wake up and help out now, not tomorrow. Climate engineering is a real and extremely pressing danger to each and every one of us. It's up to all of us to participate in this most critical fight. This is Dane Wigington with GeoengineeringWatch.org.